how to calculate metro trader margin i spent a lot of time on youtube and internet and i figure out that a lot of people on the wrong way calculate margin for indices for precious metals and sometimes forex pairs hello this is igor from fx Eager youtube channel and today we will first see what is the margin the margin represents the amount of money that you need to order to enter a trade so margin level indicates how healthy is your trading account it's a ratio of equity to the used margin of your open positions indicates it as a percentage so if we divide equity and used margin then multiply with 100 we will get margin level so if i have a high margin level it's good for me it's low it's not good but how to calculate exactly this margin first when you open your meta trader and you will see just down what is your balance what is your equity what is your margin what is your free margin and what is your margin level and you will see very often like in the example number two that sometimes if you have a low balance but a high equity like this 95 dollars you have a balance equity is just more than 100 dollars you will have you will have a bigger margin level so everything is logic and the formula to calculate is very easy margin is equal to price to multiply with units slash divide with leverage so very easy price units leverage i see around the web that talk about the contracts how many contracts in meta trader 4 in meta trader 5 we don't use a contracts we use micro lots mini lots and lots we know the micro lots is 1000 units we know the mini lots is a uh, 10,000 units. We know that the lot is 100,000 units. And this is it. So you just need to know this. So if we have one lot, you're a dollar. And our leverage is a 1 to 500. Price is 1.06, for example. We just multiply 1.06 and 100,000 because 100,000 is one lot. Divide with 500 because the 500 is a leverage. And we will get $212. So my margin is more than $200. If I trade right now the euro dollar and my leverage is a 500 and I trade with lots. So this is the easily formula. This formula, okay, usually you can find on internet and it's, there's no problem. On every single website, you will see this formula. But from this point, from this point in this video on YouTube, we will see something new. Please watch. Please watch this. First, just to make repetition, you have one lot or micro lot, and you see that your margin will be around ten dollars if you try to trade your your dollar just right in this moment. If you have a standard lot, you will have required margin more than one thousand dollars. It's a, it's a normal thing. Why? Because if you want to trade with lots. Of course, you need to have more than $1,000. If you want to trade with micro lots, you can have a $10 mod. So this is the logic thing. Of course, if you have a bigger leverage, you will have you will have less margin. So everything is connected. Everything is simple. But look this formula. It's very easy. Price, units, leverage. Very easy. Now, we will go to learn about precious metals. Around the internet, you, you, you just find in Google, for example, precious metals, how to calculate margin for precious metal metal trader. Just that, for example. And you will see a lot of fake formulas formulas that they're, they're not not good and i just want to just show exactly my account and record margin and open price and units will see very easy first thing that you need to know when you trade the precious metals your leverage will be different than for major currency pairs for example i have one to five hundred leverage for forex pairs on my account but my leverage is one to 200 when i trade the precious metals this is the first thing the second thing look this price of the gold right now in a meta trader is 1839 dollars and i need to multiply with 100 thousands of units if i trade lots if i trade in lots with 10,000, if i trade micro lots i need to multiply with 1000 of course then i divide with 200 and i will get 
$919.61. dollars And see just now, the margin is $919. A lot of websites, I don't want to show that websites because this is wrong, show bad formulas, complicated, put the, some kind of contracts, some uh, put some, uh, for example, the UNSA and, and etc. So if you trade in MetaTrader, you have, like I said, micro lots, mini lots, lots. 1,000 units, 10,000 units, 100,000 units, nothing more. Very simple. Price, multiply with units, divide with leverage, and bye-bye. This is very simple. So, I repeat, this is very simple for pressure metals. Nothing change. And the good thing, sometimes you can tr trade with micro lots for gold, and you will see that you don't need... A huge margin it's not dangerous because the gold is volatile but micro lots are not are not like i said so volatile so different than than forex pairs when you trade in meta trader in some other platforms can be different but in meta trader when you trade gold your your risk and everything will be very very similar calculated as we calculate for forex pairs but there is a difference if you trade a stocks equities and you want to find a CFD margin in MetaTrader, the formula will be slightly different, slightly different. So just now I open one lot trade and I try to buy, uh, to buy the Dow index and uh, the price is uh, $32,742 <laughs> right now for, for Dow. And the, the catch is, we will calculate the same thing. No contracts here. One contract, two contracts, five contracts. In MetaTrader, you have units. As same as for Forex, as same for gold. So if I want to trade the lots, I will multiply 100,000. I will divide with 500 because my leverage is 500. But there is a catch. There is a margin percentage in the formula. And for me, it's a one to it's a hundred zero point zero one. And when we multiply, we will get only one hundred and sixty three point seventy one. Why is this formula like this? Where is the catch? Why? The problem is when you trade stocks, when you trade indices, for example, the numbers are huge. And uh, because that numbers um, the brokerage companies, they don't want that you need to have a $10,000 if you want to open a, and a one micro lot for indices or something like that. So they put this margin percentage and you can trade with micro lots, with mini lots, with lots, and you don't need a fortune. Look this. If you want to trade with lots, indices, you can have margin with, like you see, 160 63 dollars and this is good thing you don't need a lot of money if you want to trade indices so what i want to tell you you can use the meta trade to trade stocks and indices you can use the micro lots you can lower your risk you don't need to worry you don't need a lot of capital to trade this you just need to trade if you want whatever you want in meta trade this is the beautiful thing so this formula as you can see for for margin with 163 dollars you can trade trade lots with stocks of course do not 100% use your margin just just try to risk 1% from your equity it's it's advice for all traders do not risk a lot your risk need to be low of course this youtube channel this is not investment investment advice but advice my advice is always to keep risk low do not risk a lot so this can be a, only one advice that i can give you other things you need to think you're alone. This is the very important thing that they wanted to share with you. So in the future, please read our article just below this video if you want to, to make repetition on all of this stuff that we talk in video to see the formulas and to learn how to calculate the margin in MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5. I wish you a great day and bye-bye.